about weakening the king side, but stopping the idea of bishop g5 in a lot of lines. So the position is looking like a kind of Worrell variation, where white plays queen e2 and allows d5, d4. But I don't mind this variation because it's kind of like reminiscent of a structure you might get in a King's Indian attack, um, playing a lot of those. And also, I have a weird line I play against the French in blitz, at least, not in tournaments, but um, e4, e6, knight c3, d5, knight f3, where I'll let black play d4. And similar kind of spatial situation arises in those those lines. Now black might really miss the white squared bishop in this position. So I'm not I'm not sure if if this was played accurately by black. You know, rather than doing d5, d4, maybe black should have played like more stable type of moves. I mean, it's easy to say that, like, in retrospect, but he's got to watch the white squares. His knight's hanging on c6, so it looks like he's lost control of the center. He can't play queen b7 because of rook takes e5. So maybe white, white is just in great, great shape here. Just forced win, basically. Sometimes you just have to give players enough rope to hang themselves. It's kind of like the Smyslav system I play with bishop g5 against the king's Indian. It's not forcing, and that's what makes it so dangerous. It's sometimes the most forcing variations are, are the worst to play because everyone, you know, they learn exactly what to do. If you play a non-forcing variation, you give people a lot of ways to go wrong. Okay, you found queen d7. I tried, tried not to tell you about it, but it didn't work. I thought you might resign. But he found it. Now, knight g4 is interesting. Knight g4 is interesting, but one thing that concerns me in that line is that he might have, like, trade on g4 and bishop g5. I could take with the queen. I guess that's the way to go there. Um, take, take with the queen. But black's position seems, seems fairly solid. Let's try it anyway. I have a plan. I have a plan for white here. I'm not going to tell Ultimate Champion what it is. Please, please play Hungarian. I am Andras Tot. Tot Andras. Tot Andras challenged you. Where? Oh. That's interesting. Who is Andras taught? It's not Hungarian. Guys, it's a Hungarian name, but he's not Hungarian from Hungary. I mean, he may be... Um, why is his rating so high, first of all? But uh, I live in Hungary. I don't know any Andras Toths. Um, it's obviously a Hungarian name, very common Hungarian name, but it's the guy's playing from Australia. So who can be from Australia? There's no Hungarian I am to my knowledge in Hungary in, in Australia. So it's very weird. Does anybody know what significance this name Andras Tot has? Is it a sports celebrity? Because I don't even know an Andras Toth in the in the media here in Hungary. Um, is there any footballer named Andras Toth or something? Does anybody know? He knows me. Uh, he's streaming as well. He lives in Australia now. Um, bizarre. I know a Toth Ervin, Tot Ervin. I don't know a Tot Andras. It's very strange. 
He may know of me, but I don't think he knows me personally. But I, I don't mind playing. But I'm not going to play him 3-0. If he wants to challenge me 5-0, I'll play. <coughs> if he's listening, if he's streaming himself. You guys could check it out while I'm playing on the rating card. Okay, Chopa, check the rating card. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Tot Andras. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I do know him, of course. Okay. It's been so long. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow, I'm crazy. I do know Tot Andras. Thank you for the rating card. Um, man, that's what the memory does to you. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, Tot Andras. He's in Australia. Wow. That's weird. It's been so long since I played with Tot Andras, I forgot about him entirely. It was like 2005 or something. 2004, 2005. Um, man, 10 years was too much for my, for my poor brain. Yeah, I definitely would play. Um, I'll challenge him to 5 minute. But I want to play 3 minute when I'm streaming. Um, alright. Ultimate Champion's running out of time, but he's got increment here. What about H4? How am I going to do this? H4? Toth Andras is on Australia. Didn't know that. You know what? It just occurred to me. Why the Toth Andras is so vague? Because the time I played him wasn't in 2005. It was like 1997. Or 1998. It was literally like 18 years ago that I met Toth Andras. I don't think we played in the last 10 years. Um, I think I played him in 1997 or 1998. So, that's a long time ago. Wow. Um, but I did think, I think I did see him once. Yeah, he's challenging me to five. Let's play with him. He's got a high rating. Wow. Andres talked good game, man. So, I did play him again. Let's see, 2000, maybe 2004. Um, maybe we played in 2004. He beat me the second time. All right. Last time I played him, I think it was a Richter Rouser in 2004. Um, he's playing knight c2. This is a very positional line for white. No, but now he goes knight c3. Okay. I don't mind to play this. I think white should delay that, you know. Um, some people like this to play this kind of position with the double pawns. But I don't think that white should allow this. I think white can get a nice, pleasant position without allowing the double pawns. Um, some people argue this position is fine for white, but I don't see the reason to risk it. To give black the option to play this line um, seems like it's unnecessary, basically. I mean, hey, hey, hi. Long time, dude. I forgot all about you. I forgot you. Dude. I forgot you. So long ago, dude. So long. So. Um. He disappeared from Hungary, I guess, because he went to Australia. But I didn't know about that. No, you know, nobody told me the um, the rumors about Tot Andras. He played for a team here in Hungary called Paksh, which is funded by the uh, company that runs the nuclear power plant in Hungary. Uh, they have a good chess team. So F3 and what do I want to do? I want to try to get pressure on, on the double pawns, try to blockade. It was like 1997 or 1998, at least, I think last time, 2004, 2005. I mean, it was probably like at least uh, more than 10 years ago. So, um, 
no, I remember the game now that, that Andras, it was maybe like one of the last rounds, Andras won in a Richter Rouser with white, if I recall correctly. Yes, I'm still there. Still here, dude, somehow. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay. Basically, I try to put the knight on c5, blockade the doubled pawns. Queen on a5 at this point is... Not, not really that well placed anymore. So I bring it back to c7. I might have to move it again. I'm not sure I really optimally placed it. Maybe I should go all the ba way back to d8. <laughs> Something like that. Andrush is joking with me here on the stream. Um... Andrash Toth. Tot Andrash. Oh, I completely forgot because it was. He sort of disappeared from the Hungarian chess scene. Yeah, I was playing poker, but I quit now. Played poker for 10 years. Uh, now now back to, to coaching. Um, so it's uh, knight d4. I thought he'd play knight d3, knight d5. But he went instead to knight d4. No, poker was good, but... Um, bishop d7. We... Don't want to commit our king really here. I could castle kingside, but it it seems unnecessary. So we're both chatting. I think too much to concentrate on the game. Um, he played f4. I'm thinking about castling queenside now. Maybe. <sighs> Spending too much time here. Should I dare to castle kingside? This looks crazy to castle kingside. Um, but I thought if he plays f5, I get the e5 square. I can also sack an exchange at any moment. Um, he's he's playing really non-committally, it looks like. Now I like f5. Maybe I shouldn't, but I couldn't play f5 before. I didn't have enough reinforcement. Um... Structurally, black is good. Two knights tend to be better than bishop and knight against the two bishops. So here we have an interesting decision now to take with the rook or take with the pawn. And uh, I'm not sure. Rook takes. He can play bishop g4. I think it's, it's okay either way for black. But it's pretty solid play by White. He was always quite a tough player. Um, e5? Do I dare to play e5 here? I don't see any reason why I can't play e5, actually. I need a reason not... <laughs> I need a reason not to be able to play e5. I guess. Now Knight takes e5. Either way. It's, um, you know, it's a situation where the two knights are as good as the two bishops because they've got good outposts. I'm not saying black's better, but I think after this, black's okay. I mean, out of danger, basically. Um, he could easily lose in an ending. 